Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> No, can't hear it. No, can't hear Lizzie? it. Lizzie, Lizzie's there. Hey, Lizzie. Oops. Hello. Hello. Oops. Hello. Hello. Lizzie's here from London. <laughs> hi, Patty. Hi. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and hi, Tracy. Hi, Patty. How you doing? Good. From New York City, Brooklyn. Yes, from Brooklyn. <laughs> hi, Patty. <laughs> Hello, oh, people. Hi. Wow, there's lots of folks. Hello, Jeff and people. Hello. Hey. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Dominic, you let me know when we're live on YouTube and we're good to go. Craig, we are good to go. All right. Hello, everybody. Good evening. My name is DJ Craig Mitchell, a.k.a. Craig Mitchell. So excited to be your host for the show tonight. Um, week number three, it's been a great three weeks. To all the folks who put in their names and didn't get chosen, just know the next time we do this, um, your name will, will be put in twice in all the jars for each week. So you'll get a double chance to be on these, these shows. And so thank you so much for submitting and for presenting to all the folks who presented the weeks before and the folks coming up tonight. I want to let you know what's happening tonight. Um, it's brought to you, a Smart Artist Vermont is a collaboration between Theater Engine, Big Heavy World, Vermont Dance Alliance, and Main Street Landing that seeks to create growth opportunities for artists for, of all kinds throughout Vermont. This week, week number three is the week three unfiltered spirits, uh, <laughs> number three of the series, sorry, showcasing three Vermont artists per episode, along with a signature cocktail. And the cocktail, I trust you, it's going to be amazing. Unfiltered spirits is about giving us all a chance to see what Vermont artists are up to and to support the strength and vitality in our creative sector. During these crazy times, we have so many great submissions to be a part of the show tonight. And we selected names randomly, like I said, from jars. So with that said, give a big shout out to our sponsors, the Vermont Arts Council, the Vermont Creative Network of Chittenden County, 105.9, The Radiator, and Monkey House in Vermont tonight. And uh, if you give me just a second, we're going to get on to our first event, I should say. It's a drink made by Maddie Fultz. So give me just a second. I'll run around the bar and you all talk about yourselves. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. Let's move some cables around, get everything set up. There we go. How are you, Matt? I'm good. I'm trying to get my mask to stay up. There we go. There we go. So now we're back. We're behind the bar. So you're making a drink. And what's the name of the drink? Uh, ain't no holla back, girl. <laughs> and, and it's not holla back. It's what? Holla. Holla back or halliard back. Halliard back. So they're what they're being featured tonight as part of this drink. So what's the drink that you're making? We are doing a whiskey, uh, basil Hayden rye with lemon, apple cider, Angostura, and a little bit of honey topped with Halliard ginger beer. We're going straight fall winter vibes as it is getting colder here. Beautiful. Well, do you think, my man? So this is Matty Foltz. He's a local bartender as well as a chef, this guy. Well, I mean, you know, you've done your best. I, I may have beat you in a couple cooking competitions. Tried. Just saying. My wings were good. You want to hear what's going in? <laughs> yes, please. All right. We're going to do two ounces of the rye. Please. It's kind of more or less a standard whiskey sour build. We're going to do two ounces of rye. Although it says on the, the website three-quarter lemon, I'm actually going to do one. I'm going to stop you for two seconds. 
while you're making this, I want to make I want to make sure that everyone is paying attention to the drink that you're making. So everyone, please, we're going to start the show, or at least the dark part of the show early. So please do me a favor. Everyone turn your mics off. Turn your cameras off and let's focus on Maddie making his drink. OK, so we'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. That way we're going dark and we'll stay dark until the end of the show. So keep your cameras off and Maddie. The, show, the floor is yours again. The floor is mine. All right, cool. So we're already in two ounce uh, rye, one ounce lemon. We're going to do two shots of Angostura. We are going to. But now, what's Angostura? Angostura is a bitter. It's kind of like warming spice. It's a lot of cinnamon and everything that makes you feel good. And when it's cold, how about that? All right, I'll take that. All right. We're going to do a half an ounce of honey simple syrup, which is literally just raw honey and water. That might. And you, and you gave the recipe to how to do that, right? I believe so. I don't know if you put it on the side. I did, actually. I, I tried. That mic is really close to my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got a mask on. We do. All right. So the last ingredient we're going to do before we shake is the apple cider. Always Vermont. We're going to do two plus one. So three ounces of apple cider. Now we're going to shake, baby. Oh yeah, listen to that sound. <laughs> Sounds so good. I bet it's gonna taste amazing. Oh, it's incredible. Oh my goodness. Okay. Are you ready? I am very ready. I'm thirsty. We're gonna try and get it about three quarters, a little bit in. And then we're just gonna top it off with halyards. Okay, and what flavor of halyard? We're doing the Nicole's Extra Ginger Beer. I think it's 5% or so. It is actually pretty spicy from the ginger. Usually I would do a spiced honey syrup. I usually would do like habanero or like a chili infused honey syrup, but this stuff actually has a nice spice from the uh, ginger. So we're gonna admit the chili on this one. Um, simply from that, we're done. We're just gonna garnish it with a lemon. I wish I had some candy ginger to make it look extra pretty. Other than that, all right, let's give it a taste. Should be good to go. Go ahead. All right, you got it. I'm tasting this thing. See what happens. Oh, creamy and amazing. Creamy. I love it. Well, it's creamy on top from the shake. <laughs> all right. So, with that said, I think I'm going to stay back here for this first introduction, if that works. So the first introduction is with Sarah King. She's a singer-songwriter, Vermont-based, absolutely amazing. Please, again, keep your mics off, keep your cameras off, and listen and absorb Sarah King. Shout out to Joy Banks. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Um, my, uh, my cider drink, I warmed it up, so if you see me sipping out of a mug, um, it is still the cider drink because it's really good so I was gonna play um, a different song today but that introduction has me inspired so I'm gonna play an entirely different song and then I'll end with the song I was gonna play so uh, yeah this song is called wedding rings and it's not about what it sounds like it would be about um, yeah here we go I see Dominic put uh, some notes about my song the moth in the chat that is my absolute favorite song to play live, but it's really, really loud and obnoxious in the best way possible. Um, but I'm not gonna sing it tonight just because it's really, really loud. But I stream a lot, so if you really wanna hear that song, just, I don't know, follow me on everything and you'll hear it at some point. Girl, you better lay off that liquor. Before you kill someone Don't you know that I felt sick of From all that I left undone Baby, I tried to tell you Wasn't the best idea. 
So that was called Wedding Rings. Oh, I do see some applause emojis. Woohoo! Thanks, guys. I just recently, um, so I, I teach music as well, and I recently um, learned from my students that I could do thumbs up and Zoom, or um, uh, the hand clap emojis on Zoom calls. So that's what I, I give to all my students now, and they do a good job. Yeah, thanks so much, everybody involved in putting this on. This is, this is a lot of fun. It's, it's cool to have this... Um, like, yeah, kind of collaborative stream. We were saying a little bit earlier that um, it, it can be lonely in Zoom world. It feels very empty and quiet, so it's cool to, like, get some, some real-time reactions and, uh, and to know that other people are here. And I don't know about you guys, but I saw a preview of what's coming after me, and I'm really excited to, like, put this guitar, put this guitar down and, um, and just watch and enjoy. So... So this is a song that I was going to start with, and now I'm going to end with it. This is called With You, and this has kind of become my quarantine anthem. Um, I used to think it was really cheesy, but this song has taken on a new meaning since I've been here in quarantine, um, as have all of you, and it just makes me very happy to be able to share this digital space and this little bit of time with you. So here we go. I'm Sarah King, sarahkingsings.com, and Dominic got all those links in there for me. Um, I live in Ripton with really terrible internet, but I've been making do, and yeah, so stay tuned for the awesome stuff. I am really excited. Okay, here we go. Light creeps in, and I can barely see your face. 
can't believe I'm in this place with you. You pull me close, my fingers trace your skin. What dream am I? And in this moment, swear I found the love that was meant for me. I kept on hoping, even through the darkness. When I couldn't see, but here I am with you. You know I wonder far, and I've been around. Searching for words unfurled with you. And when you reach for me, somehow I understand I'll always have a place. And in this moment, swear I found the love that was meant for me. I kept on hoping, even through the darkness, when I But here I am with you. And that's it. Thank you, Sarah. thank you. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much, Sarah. That was amazing. Thank that you. was unbelievable. <laughs> wow, so, so, <laughs> I, I actually hear applause oh my god i might cry <laughs> it feels amazing to hear real-time applause <laughs> that was i know we haven't heard applause in forever right oh, oh, so i love it now there's a party i love it sarah so okay. dominic was right he said we need <laughs> sound check with you you sounded amazing. What are you using to make yourself sound so good? I am totally cheating. Um, most people use like an interface, but I actually am using the amp that I gig with because it has a USB out. And so it, it functions as a PA and it just plugs right into my computer. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's a great tip for all the artists that are watching. Yes, buy an amp that has a USB out. I never thought I would ever use it. Like, And honestly, my first few streams, I didn't use it because i didn't know that it had it because why would i ever need a usb on my amp? Right, exactly yeah. <laughs> well covid yeah yeah covid yeah i mean magically like and seriously i really lucked out because like you can't even get an interface now because everybody's buying them and they're like on back order and they're three times the price and like one day i was like hmm i wonder if i have anything you know that i could use and i was like oh my god <laughs> right so you're <laughs> like, an early adopter you're yes like, you jumped on the boat like before everyone oh, else oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And and your music is amazing. So thank, thank you. you so much. 
Thank you so you much. To, you want to tell anyone about yourself? Do you want to give like a website or music coming out or CDs? Sure. Or- yes. Yeah. These are all exciting things. I don't even have a CD with me, but the CD looks a lot like this. It's blue. I'm going to duck down for a second so you can see my website. Okay. That's Perfect. my website. I hope you screenshotted it. I should have told you. SarahKing.com? Um, yes. Yeah, SarahKingSings.com. Gotcha. SarahKing.com. I don't know. There's like some Australian Sarah King and like she's getting all my <laughs> website traffic. I don't know. Um, and she's a musician too. So it's really awkward. But, um, but yeah, I do. I have a new song out. I have a new song um, coming out next month. I don't know if there are any Black Sabbath fans here, but it's a Black Sabbath cover. Ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like um, that. Yeah. I'm very excited about it. And if you, you know, not to be on any side of anything, but if you've paid attention to the news recently, you might have a little bit of an inkling of which song it might be and why I chose it. Uh-huh. Well, War Pigs is one, War Pigs is one of <laughs> yes, my favorite songs. Yes, how did you know? Yeah, uh, so, yeah. Look at that. Mitchell. <laughs> I'm, <woo! laughs> I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so, and, uh, yeah, please come follow me on stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm based here in Ripton, but obviously I can't gig right now, so I'm gigging in your living room on your computer, and I would love to be in your living room. <laughs> well, it's uh, amazing to be together apart with you. Yes. And thank you so much, Sarah King. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, once again, much love to Sarah King. Much love to Maddie Folds, who was our bartender for earlier. I want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors. Love them so much. Main Street Landing, Big Heavy World, um, the Vermont Dance Alliance, and of course, Theater Engine. So as we move on to our next artist, my mask keeps falling down. Oh, but it's okay. I'm good. I'm centered. I'm ready. Now, our next artist they are part of the Women Take Will, uh, Wilson ex- exhibition. The Southern Vermont Art Center in Manchester, Vermont, is exhibiting Patty Hudak's large-scale installation. There, through the broken branches, go, will be on view until November 29th. The project was made possible by a 2018 to 2019 creation grant from the Vermont Arts Council and the National Endowment of the Arts. Now, folks please feel free to ask questions in the chat and I will relay them to her and we'll go from there. But please welcome to the screen and to the show, Patty Hudak. Oh, um, can you start my video? All right, we're gonna get it going, one second. Okay, I'm getting a message, unable to start. Okay, how about now? Okay, one minute. Yay, there we are. (laughs) Um, Thank you, Craig and Sarah. That was beautiful. Um, Such beautiful music. Um, Cheers. Uh, The drink is amazing. Um, We are beekeepers here in Underhill, Vermont. And um, so it's very nice to have a drink with honey. So tonight I'm going to do a short demo for you of um, a woodblock printing technique that I learned in Japan. Um, It's a very old technique, goes back to the Edo period. And um, I was fortunate to be able to study with some master craftsmen um, in Tokyo. And um, so uh, here it goes. Uh, Also, thank you to... uh, uh, Barbara Ishgora, who taught me how to do the overhead camera. Um, so thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to start with ingredients, just like we are a cooking show. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you, I ha- I'm going to use this rice glue, and it's purely just rice flour, and um, you cook it in a double boiler until it's just a little bit drippy. Um, The next ingredient I'm going to use is sumi ink. Um, So that is, is everything I'm using is all natural, just from nature. Um, um, Then I'm going to use this brush, um, which is uh, called a tebaki. And um, it's made out of horsehair and it's wrapped around and then it has a cypress handle. So everything is handmade. I've met the artisans who made the brush. um, it supports a whole, this, this craft supports a whole economy of um, other craftspeople who make the tools. This is the wood block that I'm going to use tonight. Um, it's a soft wood, not the traditional one. It's, it's made out of a soft wood called sheena plywood. 
Um, normally they would use a cherry wood, um, but it's becoming very scarce uh, and hard to find these days. The next thing I'm going to show you is, um, this is actually the printing press. It's your hand and this, um, it's called a Baron. Um, and uh, to, to make a very good Baron takes almost a year. There's layers of um, paper, which take a, a couple, uh, about a week to dry. And, um, and then it's covered with this bamboo uh, cover. Um, so um, we're gonna get started. So um, basically you take uh, a couple of drops of the rice glue and some ink. And these you mix on the wood block. So I am, I'm mixing the ink together with the rice glue. And it, it's just like scrubbing, like scrubbing a floor or something like that. So I'm scrubbing, this is all water-based, uh, this technique. So I don't need any solvents or anything like that. Okay, so I've scrubbed this into the block. And then I, I make horizontal strokes like this across the top. That's with the grain of the wood. And then the last one, they call it like a makeup brush, just very lightly brushing up. So now I'm gonna get a piece of paper and the paper is a um, special kind of paper. It's made with very long fibers. And um, I've dampened it. So it's been dampening for uh, about 24 hours. It's just a lightly damp uh, piece of paper. And I'm going to take the paper now. There's two registration marks here. They're just notches that are cut into the wood. So I'm gonna place the paper right onto the notches. And now just taking a piece of parchment paper and I, I hold the baron like this, and it's almost like doing um, CPR. Uh, you put your whole weight into it. So first I'm just going to stick the paper onto the block. And now I'm going to really push. The paper on top is just a piece of parchment paper. It just helps the baron uh, to slide over the top of the paper. So it takes a lot of pressure, but uh, you can imagine I'm, I, am the, I am actually the printing press. So the nice thing about this technique is that you can, you can do it, you basically can do it in your kitchen. Like you, can, you don't need a big studio, you don't need an expensive press. Okay, here we go. And that's the first pass. So I'm planning to do four passes. What I thought was, um, if anyone has any questions, um, you can put it into the chat and then uh, DJ Craig can um, pass it on. Yes, once again, if you'd like to uh, ask a question, please put it in the chat and I will relay it to our artist, yeah. So it's a very time consuming technique. Um, uh, normally, traditionally there were three artists who were involved in making uh, print. Um, and the first one was the artist who made the drawing. Uh, the second one was the carver who would carve the blocks. And the third one was the printer. So the carver and the printer were two different um, skills. So the carver never printed and the printer didn't carve. Um, and um, each one of those skills required a, an apprenticeship. And um, so now I'm just going to flip the paper around. So really quickly, um, if I can ask you a quick question. Sure. What is the name of the plywood? And did you carve the wood ahead of time? I did. Um, it, yeah. Uh, I 
carving the plywood would not be very entertaining to watch. Um, <laughs> I carved the plywood ahead of time. The plywood is called Shina, S-H-I-N-A. Um, and it comes from Japan. Um, and I think my understanding is that it actually means Chinese plywood. Um, the technique, this technique originated in China, but um, was perfected by the Japanese during the Edo period. And at that time, you had a rising merchant class. That's a time in Japan that everyone loves with like samurais and, you know, all those romantic way that we think of Japan. Um, and uh, there was a rising merchant class who could afford some kind of entertainment or art, um, but not like the high class kind of um, paintings that were done for the emperor. So woodblock printing kind of evolved as a way to create um, sort of things that looked like ink paintings, but that could be mass produced. And even though this system seems like it's really slow to us, um, this was actually uh, a, quite a revolution at the time. And they'd make a, a hundred even more, they, they, they would just keep printing on the block until it wore out. So now I have this kind of a geometric pattern with a little more. That's in. amazing. So really quickly, Jeff York has a question. What inspired you to make this image? Oh, <laughs> um, you know what? I, um, I'm still working on my technique. So I was looking for something geometric um, that I could um, repeat. And um, I, I, this I thought would be a challenge, a challenge enough to carve, and yet I could use it in, uh, in many different ways to create many different kinds of prints. So I have one, um, I'll show you another version of it. Here is four, four sides, four. And I love the kind of the moiré patterns that are created, um, you know, just, just through the overlapping of, of the, Shapes. I have one other. Yeah, this is like a, a double one with a oh, beautiful pattern in it. So, someone, uh, Tracy McFarland, is asking, how do you make the actual plate that you print from? Oh, this is this is a, a normal piece of um, not normal. It's the a piece of Sheena plywood. You can kind of see the ply. It's a thin plywood, and um, I carved it. So. Um, the way I started this one was um, I created concentric cir circles that then I, I carved with a, a tool and then I, I clear the outside of the, uh, of the block. Um, so yeah, the carving takes a while. It definitely takes a while, yeah. So how long does, it, does that take? So this one, I probably did it, so maybe I work about five hours a day. So it took me like, two and a half days to finish the block. Um, uh, this is a pretty simple block uh, to carve. Um, um, sometimes I've taken, I've carved, it's, it's hard to work large in this, in this format, um, but I have worked, um, uh, maybe it's like uh, 30 by 24 inches is about the largest that I've worked. Um, and that would take me maybe a full week to carve that block. Um, so at least it depends on the complexity of, of the block, um, but it's time consuming. When I was beginning to learn, uh, I, I kept thinking, um, oh my God, this is, a, this is a, a long time to make an image, <laughs> even if you can <laughs> do so. <laughs> wow, this takes a long time to do. Um, so, yeah. But it's really incredible what you're doing. Someone's asking, um, they, they, they want to say it looks like lace. So that's amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> and we, you. We, I think we have time for one more question. Do you have multiple patterns for printing that you work with? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and, and can but, we see some of those? Um, at my website, um, I don't have anything else here right now, but at my website, uh, which is www.pattyhudak.com, I have a section on my website which says mokuhanga. So this technique is called in Japanese mokuhanga, which just basically means moku means wood and hanga means print. So um, on my website, you'll see. And then also if you Google 
uh, or look on Instagram at hashtag Mokohanga. Uh, the, the, the technique was sort of dying out in Japan. And um, now it's been latched onto by a lot of contemporary artists. And so you can see some very, very interesting work. And it's one of those techniques that um, it's like uh, very easy to learn, but very difficult to master. <laughs> so um, um, when we uh, finish with COVID, I'll be offering some workshops and classes in the technique. Perfect. Well, we're looking forward to those. Thank you, Patty. We're running out of time. Thank you so much for what you've done. Big round of applause, everybody. Thank you so much, Craig. Thanks, and thank Patty. you for coming. <laughs> thank you so much for doing what you do. Um, please, everyone, check the chat and check out all the, uh, the, the links to check out her work. Again, we want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors, all the folks who were involved with tonight. Um, Theater Engine, Big Heavy World, Vermont Dance Alliance, and Main Street Landing. Uh, big shout out to our bartender, Maddie Foltz, and Monkey House for letting us be here tonight. So we have time for one more artist. Um, and um, I, I have a feeling this one's gonna be very interesting. Um, Bronwyn Sims. Uh, Bronwyn, are you there? Bronwyn? Bronwyn? Hello? Bronwyn? Oh. Hello? Hello? Bronwyn? What? What? That doesn't sound like Bronwyn. Oh my God. What's going on? I hear something. I, I'm, I'm hearing something too. I, I, it doesn't sound like Brown one though. No, I don't know where it's coming from. Oh my heavens, this computer's on. Oh God. Uh, what do I do? Uh, okay. Uh, hold on one second. Oh my heavens. Uh, Brown, uh, are you? Are you hello? Oh. hello? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not Brown one. That's what? not Brown one. Um, who are you? Oh my heavens. Oh, uh, who are uh, who are you? What? Who are you? Oh, oh well, I'm Dorothea. Do I'm hello, here. Dorothea. Um, what oh. happened to Bronwyn? Uh, well, um, I don't know. She, well, okay, look, I'll tell you. I'm in her house right now. And um, I just came over here to return this book. Like, you know, I, I'm her neighbor. I'm her neighbor. <laughs> I'm her well, neighbor. So See, What's I that book uh, uh, that you're working with there? What's the book? What? What's the book that you're, you're holding uh, up? Oh, this? Yeah. What is uh, it? What Can we see uh, the name of it? Okay. Well, it's a little personal. I mean, I, I just borrowed it. Like, I just, I borrowed the book and, okay, all right. I'm a little embarrassed, but okay, here we go. Can you see it? Women who run with the wolves. Yeah. What? Okay. Interesting. Well, Okay, well, Bronwyn recommended that I should read this because I've been having some trouble and I've been so caught up with myself and, and you know, she's my neighbor and she's so lovely and everything. And then I just decided, well, she, she thought this would be a good idea for me to read it. So I thought, okay, I, I would read the book and I finally finished it. <laughs> okay, so what's it about? What's the book about? Well, all right. It's about these, these women archetypes. Um, the, the, the wild woman, it, it's an archetype. And you see, so there's like four different archetypes of women. And the first one is the maiden. Um, the second one, I can't quite remember. But the third one is the wild woman. And that's sort of, she thought maybe I was sort of going through this phase right now because of everything. So that's the, that's the third one. And then the fourth one is the wise woman. And I'm soon reaching the wise woman, that's for sure, because I'm getting old. My bones are hurting. But so, you know, I, I'm a, I feel a little awkward here because I I wasn't, I just came by and I just knocked on the door. I, I was just over here and I was on. But, 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 that, but that's the issue because we actually, we had a thing going on with Bronwyn, but the Bronwyn was supposed to perform tonight. Well, let's see, see, I, I came over. I knocked on the door. I tried to call and there was no answer here. So I just live right. I live down the street. I live over this way. Like, well, 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 if I can I stop you. Because... Way, like, if you go, if you go, well, I, you can't see it's dark. But um, anyway, I live over there and I thought, well, this would be a good time. I could come over a little bit after dinner and, 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 and return this book. And so I knocked on the door and there was nobody here. And she leaves her door open. I mean, it so, is so you just let yourself in. I did. 
did. I, I so you guys are close like that. I know. I, I, I probably shouldn't have done it, but I just thought I would come in real quick. I also, I, I made these, I made these pickled fiddleheads, see? <laughs> and, um, and so I you picked those I, a couple of months ago and they're pickled. And, and, and yeah. Sure they're amazing. Well, so I thought, I thought, you know, I don't want the, I didn't want to leave the book or the pickled fiddleheads on the steps because I didn't want someone to take it, even though I know we live in Vermont, but I was a little afraid. So I just thought, I thought I'd come over here and leave them on the door. And then, and then I knocked on the door and nobody here. So I just thought I'd come in and leave them. Mm -hmm. And then I came in here and nobody's here. But then I heard somebody calling for Brom and I didn't know what, who the heck is that? So then I just, I, 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 I didn't know what to do because she had her computer open and now I feel like I should do something. I mean, hello, hello, hello. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa. You're a little close. You're a little close. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, so we're trying to figure out again, um, we had a whole thing. So you now you're too far. You're too far. Come on, come closer. There, right there. No, no, no. Step right there. So we're trying to figure out. <laughs> there. <laughs> no, that, I could go upside down. Well, well, that now, now it's a little weird. It's it's, That's it's very, weird. Oh my heavens, my ring. Oh, very. It's very weird now. Ah, uh, well, sorry. Oh my God. Okay, I did, so I did brush my teeth. Okay, I, I I just I, I really want to know where Bronwyn is before I dial nine one one because I'm oh. worried. I'm scared. Uh, well, I don't know. Oh, I'm getting a little nervous about Bronwyn. Okay, well, I could. Oh, I don't have. Do I have my phone? I don't even know if I have my phone here. You don't have your phone with you. Oh, jeez. Okay. No. All right. So you got you brought your fiddleheads, but not your phone. Call her. Maybe somebody could call her. I don't know. Um, I could go. I could run next door. Here, but, wait. But you live next door. Yeah. But that's not where we, where Brownwood should be. No. You're in uh, her house. Uh, Girl. Oh. oh. Oh no. Okay, maybe that's Brownwood. Please go answer the door, please. Why would she knock on the door? Here I don't know, but please go knock. Go check it out. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that we have this imposter coming in. Um, Ron was supposed I'm a little to afraid to open the door. I mean, I hi, you're not an imposter. Sorry. I'm going to lock the door. Hold on. Yeah, unlock it. This... I'm really... Anyone know what's going on right now? I'm, I'm really confused. I locked the door. Uh, you unlocked it or you locked it? What? You locked it or you unlocked it? I, I, I locked it. You locked but what? If, what if, who was knocking on the door? I got scared. I didn't want to answer it, Craig. But, they, but what if they're in the house hiding somewhere? What? Girl. Oh, no. Well, wait. You can come with me. Here. Yeah, Let's... please take me with you. Should I go in here? Because I'm scared for you. Oh, wait. The phone's ringing. Wait, listen. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know what? How about this? Put the put the computer down. Okay. Put the computer down. Okay. Go answer the phone. Okay. Hold on. And then open the door. And let's see if that's Bronwyn. Hello? Oh. Hello? Bronwyn! Where are you? You're supposed to be here. There's all these people and, 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 and somebody named Craig Mitchell is on here and you're supposed to be doing something. I, sh I tried to perform, but I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know where anything is. Well, where are you? What? Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll let them know. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, I'll see you soon. I got something for you and I returned the book. Yeah, I've got the book. Okay. All right, bye bye. Oh, okay. So okay, so she'll be here in just a minute. She said. Okay. 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 Um. Uh. uh, uh I do something. I can. Yes, go ahead. Go do your thing, girl. I could. I could dance. Go. Go ahead and dance. Do your thing. You know what? Here, watch. Here, hold on. Let me see. I could show you this thing. All right. Oh, hi. Oh Lord, have mercy. Okay. No, no, oh, okay. Well, okay, hold on, just one second. Let me just see if I can do this thing. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, you scare me. No, no, you scare me, me, girl. I'm just afraid of my. Oh, you're just rocking. Okay. Um, okay. it's like a tilt a whirl. Okay. All right. Um, we need brown one. Okay. Can can, can we fade to black here? Hello, people. Um, it's getting a little weird. Uh, I'm sorry. We're children at home. Thank you. Brown one. Hold on. Oh Lord have hold mercy. On. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind right here. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, I thought Brian was going to be here for the show, and we have the neighbor um, with pickled fiddleheads. What's going on? I have no idea. Oh my god!
Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh-oh. This Hello? doesn't sound good. Hello? Oh, is it Bronwyn? Uh, yeah. What, oh, what so the sorry. hell was that? Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Um, Your neighborhood is very interesting. Uh, well, okay. Dorothea is a lovely woman. Um, she lives next door. I'm sorry. Dorothea, I'll see you tomorrow. She's sorry. very sweet. He's- um, she got a little inappropriate near the end there. He did? Well, I mean, she was rolling around on the floor a little bit. But, oh. Yeah. And oh. But she brought you fiddleheads. Pickled. Uh- I see that, yes. Yeah, but yeah. the whole rolling around the floor with her legs open was a little strange. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, Craig. You see what happened was is I ran out to do a quick errand and then I got a flat tire. I didn't have my phone. My phone ran out of juice. Ay, ay, ay. I'm, it's I'm, okay. It's fine. It's fine. At least it wasn't like a, a Rocky Horror Picture Show kind of ending. Uh, well, <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show with the knock on the door. With the back. Anyway, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope she wasn't too inappropriate. No, she no, not so much. I mean, the fact that you weren't here was the inappropriate part. Uh, well, because we really wanted to see you. I, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm but thank good. you so much for uh, at least showing up at the end. Of course, of course. So I'm sure, it, being that we have only a couple minutes here, or at least yeah. about a minute. Yeah. Um, love you guys. Nice day, everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Maddie, our bartender. I uh, mean, we have like a minute left. Um, is there anything you'd like to promote? Being that she took up all your time. Oh, well, uh, you can check out my website. It's Um, I am a devised physical theater artist, so I do a lot of improv and character work, uh, film work, dance, movement. Um, currently, I'm working on a lot of projects that are online, um, and I think that Dominic probably put a lot of it in the chat. So. Yeah, it is in the chat, and I think we got to go. Thank you so much. We're good. Thank you so much, Bronwyn. You were Thank amazing. You so. oh, we're out of time. Okay, um, so I hope you guys had a great time tonight. Uh, my name is Craig. I am your, have been your host. To all the folks that were uh, hanging out in the, um, in the Zoom room, turn your cameras on, turn your mics on, and give a big round of applause to all of our artists who performed tonight. Please. <laughs> Bronwyn Sims. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Love you, oh, my goodness. Matches out to Sarah King. Oh, and Patty Hudak. Thank you so much. Yeah. Which, once again, you did not get picked. Um, we will, hey, holla. <laughs> to all the folks that didn't get picked for this round. All right. Do this again, and your name will be put in twice if you, if you submit again. So please try out again. We'd love to have you for the next series. But thank you to all the folks involved. Thank you for Halliard. Thank you to Matt Bingino, who's my, my video guy, who uh, has to come over here and say hello to people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, can't I get believe my- Mariah is going to take over the uh, question and answer period, or am I doing that? No? I'm going to do that. So if anyone has any questions. Oh, I got it. Hello. How are you, love? Any questions, comments, concerns from any folks in the Zoom room? Please post them in the chat or say them out loud. That was so awesome. That was so fun. Thank you. It was great, right, Dominic? Oh, man, I loved it. I loved it. I want to be in the Zoom room forever. (laughs) Good. Me too. (laughs) Wow. So All right. You're going to you're going to continue this um um uh, unlimited spirits into the future? Dominic, that's on you. Yeah, that's our plan. Yeah, we'd lo- we we would love to. Um we we amongst ourselves and I mean if anybody else who has seen any more of these or even just responses from tonight, you know, I mean mm-hmm. one of the things that we've been talking about is that uh it's so fun to have this eclectic mix of artists because there are things that we're seeing that I would probably never walk across in my regular daily life. And man, it's so, it's so, it's so exciting. And um, so thank you. So yeah, I hope we keep going with it. Wonderful. Yeah. It's really a great outlet. And um, I was looking at the participants and there are people I know from like my cousin from Connecticut, people from Brooklyn, Manhattan, London, like geography doesn't matter when you do something like this. So it's really nice. Uh, It it can extend, you know, take Vermont artists to uh, uh, extend uh, outside Vermont as well. It's it's great. 
so Bronwyn, a big round of applause from Sobo Studio. You had they had you had them rolling, <laughs> and it was so funny. So they loved you. Wow. <laughs> That was amazing. That was really confusing at one point. I gotta admit, I was trying to like figure out how far I should go with the questions, and but it worked. You were confused, <laughs> Craig. I'm a, I was. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, improv is always a little. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little wonky, but no, I was kidding. It was a lot of fun. I had a, I had a ball. Hopefully, you, hopefully you did too. You were amazing. I had a ton of fun. Thank Good. you. Good. Awesome. Very Good. That that actually loosened me up. I was nervous the whole show, as I do for, before every show. But you. That banter like loosened me up and it was right back, right back to me being on stage again. So it was very cool. My tummy hurts from laughing so hard at everything. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah, you were amazing. Thank Unbelievable. You. Thank you. And to, to Patty's point, like that's the amazing thing with like all this digital stuff is that like, yeah, we can extend so far beyond Vermont. Like, you know, if I were going to go on tour, it would cost me a lot of money and gas and hotels and stuff. And for me to reach all these audiences everywhere. Yeah, Patty, like it doesn't matter that we're here in Vermont. We're reaching people everywhere, which is awesome. And thank you, Craig, for hosting this. It's it's so cool. Like it was this was so fun to have so many artists of different disciplines um, to enjoy. And <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I went first so that I could chill out and then enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that that makes me really happy. I I, I mean I, I I love the arts. I love being a part of them, and and I get super nervous. And I have my thing, but um, to see folks doing stuff that's different than what I do, and doing it better than I can ever imagine, and to engage me and as, as well as the rest of the folks who are watching, uh, it's amazing. It's great, and it shows the richness of what we have here in Vermont. So I mean, I'm just blown away. And unless there's any questions, comments, concerns. I just want to say one other thing. You know, I mean, the, with the, the music, Sarah, I have to say, there's something about, you know, it feels like you're looking right into the camera, you know, and the mm -hmm. camera's close on you. It feels like you're singing directly <laughs> to me. <laughs> you know, that is such a powerful experience. Yeah, that, that's something I had to learn how to do because I would watch like in the, my first streams, I was always like watching myself and being like, oh my God. And then I was like, no, I need to talk to the camera because I'm, I'm here. Like, that's why that song with you is, has been so important because I'm here with you in quarantine. Like this is the most personal, like my, my quarantine streams have been like, like I, I like to play a game where I tell people to go in the chat and type the most ridiculous thing they can to make me forget the lyrics, which I would never do in like a real show that I'm, you know, producing and putting on and everything. And so it's it's fun to just kind of let that guard down and just be like, I'm literally just singing to you in my living room and mm -hmm. I'm in your living room. And, and um, yeah, just having that personal connection across the airwaves is really cool. And you sounded amazing. And, and your production sounded amazing. It looked amazing, too. So. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, yeah. I was going to talk to Patty later about I need a new backdrop and some of her stuff looks amazing. <laughs> so, um, so thanks for this connection because Yay. I never would have known about you. So we're going to talk offline. <laughs> I know. And I was thinking during the wood block, it would have been nice to have you singing. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, we should. Craig, could we do like a collaborative thing in the future? Like if there's somebody who, you know, like you, you, you guys don't have to look at me. Like I could just sing like for someone who's doing like an, an art or, you know, something Ooh, like that would be I really love that. cool. Yeah, like, I love like, that. that or interludes in between each yeah, set. Yeah. 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 Ooh. With an improv person popping in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe a little bit of both. I love yeah. that idea. Um, yeah. Dominic, that's really on, on Dominic and the crew, but I love that idea. Yeah. yeah Cause the collaborative up. stuff, like the, it's hard to, you know, I can't play music with somebody else, but if I could play music while someone does something visual like that, could work. So Wait, it's, it's sort of like yeah. being at the club and you didn't, you're on stage and you see someone in the crowd like, come up and sing this song with me. Yes. You're like, <laughs> you're like you, I pick you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come up and sing this one. I know you know it. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> the crowd goes crazy and it adds that interactive feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Totally. Right. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Craig, Love where it. are you right now? Where are you? Where am I? Yeah. I'm at Monkey House in Winooski. Okay. Yeah, and, and Matt Bingino and the the uh, Monkey House crew. Who's Matt? He's the guy who's uh, in charge of all the visuals and all that stuff, making sure I look good because I don't normally. Um, <laughs> you look lovely. Thank you, love. Yeah, I'm Craig, trying my best. 
Craig, you you gotta give us a, a quick plug on your stuff. You you're performing all the time too, and, oh, and I feel like we've gotten this great this great view of you as a host. But man, I, I'd love to. We we want to hear uh, when you're performing next. Uh, the only well, I have a Friday night thing that I do on. Um, be a big heavy world. Um, it's for recovery from on. It's people who are in recovery as well as people who are mentally challenged. And it's um, an hour every Friday from seven to eight where people just get together and we play with toys and play music and have fun. Um, beyond that, I have a new record coming out. Um, the name of the project is called San Mateo. I'm very proud of it. Um, it's with Matt Burr, who was the drummer for Nocturnals. Um, still is sort of, uh, but it's Grace Potter's ex-drummers complicated situation but the album is coming out soon but the second video is coming out soon um but the first single can't get enough is out right now and please go check it out um where do we uh, where do we check it out uh Give everywhere from spotify to the videos on uh youtube uh title um it's everywhere um All so right. san mateo can't get enough Woo-hoo. but anyway that i don't want to talk about me it's, it makes me weird so <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a show about me, it's all about y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very. The first single is doing very, very well. It's uh, it's bubbling up. So uh, please check it out. I'm again. I spent from November till March, a week at a time, before everything shut down, recording in Puerto Rico, and this is the vibe down there. And half the half the band's there, half the band's here. So we can't really do stuff together right now. And we would love to do a show, but it's gonna be a while. So we'll see when that happens. I had no idea that was you. I saw that on Matt's like Instagram, like the San Mateo thing. I didn't know that was oh, you. Matt That's Hagen? amazing. Matt Hagen or Matt Matt Burr? Matt Burr. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's so that, cool. not the vocalist on that that record. So, and the new single we fi- we finished the video last week, and should be out uh, in like another couple of weeks. Which is sorry doesn't feel so so long. Um, sorry doesn't feel this. I forget the why am I blanking right now? Because <laughs> I'm nervous. Ah. Talking about my own stuff. That's the problem. Anyway, move right along. I love it. <laughs> anyway, so that's coming up, Tim. So I think we're good. I think we've made it to the end. And we, we've, we've come out unscathed and heard some beautiful music <laughs> and saw some beautiful art. And thank you so much. It was really fun. Um, again, to all the folks that did not get chosen, if there are any folks who were still here, um, we're going to be doing this again soon and resubmit and we, your name will go in twice. But with that said, ah, thank you. Good night. Thanks everybody. Thanks Craig. Thank you everybody. Thanks Dominic. <laughs>